Why don't you cry, my baby? Into an ocean wave And baby, I leave Your ocean Hi guys, it's Sarah again. Um, it's been about a month now since we've hived our honeybees and I just wanted to do our first full inspection now. I've pulled out a few bars of comb since then and I've refilled the syrup feeder um, twice now. But the weather's been really weird in Maine. Um, we've had some really, really hot weather and some really, really cold, crappy weather. So I've been kind of leaving them alone and trying to just let them get fully settled before I disrupt them too much. So today I'm going to be looking for um, brood comb, make sure that they're still pupating, make sure the queen's alive, most important, um, make sure there are no mites or bugs um, infesting the hive, and make sure there's no cross combing, um, they're not connecting any of the bars together. So, um, and I'm also going to be widening um, the space that they have. I gave them about 10 bars to start with and they have about seven filled out right now so i want to give them plenty of room to grow as much as they want during the summer going into july now um, things will still be growing and expanding um, for the next few months here so let's go crack it open all right so first inspection here we go gonna open this up and now, um, I noticed during some visual inspections that um, the bees have adhered to the side of the hive a little bit. So the comb kind of eh, makes, they make structural supports on either side. Um, so this is just my bee knife here, and I'm just gonna run it along the side here. It's not gonna hopefully damage the comb too much, but it should loosen them up so I can pick them up and out. First bar is out here. Um, this is definitely some brood comb. It's all capped up. It's beautiful, actually. Um, really, really nice. Um, I don't see any. Any really dirty comb, um, anything that would be cause for alarm as far as hive beetles or um, mites or anything. What I think some of them are, oh, and here's the queen right here. I'm glad I saw her. So the queen's working away in here. Um, she's kind of mid-level here. Right there, you see her long, long torso here and she's working away, laying eggs, doing what she needs to do. Um, so she's alive and well. Don't want to disturb them too much here. So back down they go. And they're pretty good about getting themselves back in there. They don't want to uh, they don't want to get left behind. But what I do is kind of shimmy, just so I don't pinch any. <laughs> Closing it is always the hardest part here. I don't want to kill anybody, but I also can't wait forever <laughs> for this to get closed up. So. But these are definitely young bees. Some of these are really small. Um, the worker bees are small anyway, but some of them, um, you can tell just by their fur, it's really white and silky looking when they're young. So that tells me that since I've hived these bees, there's been a whole um, pupation stage where the eggs have been laid and then worker bees have been hatched and are now part of the hive. So 
So it's an actively growing hive, which is really, really exciting to see. So here's some more brood. So there's right now there are three full combs of brood in here, different stages, all different stages of pupation. If you notice, there's a little honey here up top. They're kind of putting honey stores in the top of their brood comb. So they don't have to walk very far. So, I mean, it looks pretty cool. Pretty standard looking honeycomb here. Brood comb, I should say. So the queen's busy here. She's got at least three bars of um, eggs that she's been laying. Um, I'd be surprised if there wasn't another fourth. Um, we'll have to wait and see what I what I see in the other ones. But um, so I'm just going to keep going here, um, and I'll follow up at the end. So I turn the camera. The GoPro back on just to show you something really cool. Um, fifth bar in and there's still brood comb and right over here I don't know how well you can see it but that is drone brood in its final stages of pupation. It's so big that it's kind of busting out there and it's gonna start um, they're gonna start coming out soon which is so cool. So drones are always hatched after worker bees. Um, the queen lays a lot of worker eggs first, and then they determine that it is a good time, once they get their numbers up, um, to grow some drones. So it's really neat to see all of this drone brood. As you can tell, going left to right, the size of the comb changes significantly. Um, the drone combs are huge. They're almost, they're almost double the size of worker combs, um, just because they have to be. Drones have to be strong and big to make their flights. Um, so really, really cool to see that. So yeah, just one little thing I wanted to show you. So I've made it about um, six bars in now. I'm going for the 7th and 8th now, which are the two final um, bars. So they're going to be a little smaller, and we'll see what we find. Alright, so I'm pulling out this one. As you can see, this is um, just fresh comb, really. Um, it's mostly honey, I guess, at this point. Some pollen. Um, it's really clean and white, so it's fairly new. This was actually just starting out um, this past week. It started, I want to say, on Monday, Sunday or Monday, and it's now Thursday. So you can see how fast they work when they have the proper, proper um, pollen and, and warmth and everything. They, they work pretty hard here, so really neat to see this. So it might become more um, comb, uh, brood comb at some point. Um, considering that they have about four, five bars of it now, um, and they're still going, still going strong. No signs um, yet. I didn't see any signs of queen cells, any swarm cells, which is really, really encouraging. Um, I was hoping I wouldn't have to deal with that quite so early on, and I don't think I will. There we go. This one's fused to this one just a little bit here. And this is the final bar of comb. Pretty tiny. Just a little guy here, but pretty mighty. It's gonna be something great one day. This might be something that I'm taking out and eating later on. 
down the down the road. Oh, actually, you know what? I lied. There's one more half half bar of comb that I did not see. I'm thankful to have some fairly docile bees here. All right, last and final comb here. Just a little nugget. Um, but this was actually probably started sometime yesterday, if I had to guess, or even this morning. I mean, you see how many bees are on this one bar that are working on this. Um, so they, it's amazing what they can create in such little time. So I'm just gonna kind of try to shimmy them down here. The hardest part is just getting the bars back in. So, I've inspected all my bars. Um, everything's looking really healthy. I like the look of the brood comb that's in there. There's a lot of it. I saw the queen, which is fantastic. I was not really thinking I would see her that early or that um, easily. But once you get to know um, the size of her and um, the differences in her shape, it's actually pretty easy to spot her, especially there's usually a little round um, kind of circle of space that the bees allow her um, when she's walking around the brood comb. Next step I'm gonna take here, I just refilled the sugar feeder. I'm gonna go and I'm going to take some of these empty bars. I've got my, um, my bee board, my solid um, wall kind of on both sides of my 10 bars that I allowed them in. This hive is double that. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a couple empty bars and I'm going to insert them kind of um, in between and then probably one on each end um, of the brood comb so that they have some extra room to get, um, keep growing. I don't want them to think that they've reached their capacity and that they have to find a new home and then they swarm. Um, I want them to know that they have plenty of room to expand here. <laughs> I've now gone through my whole hive. Um, I've inspected all the brood comb. I've inspected for any kind of insects or pests um, holing up in here. Uh, I saw the queen. I saw lots of different larvae, different um, stages of pupation, which is great. Um, I also refilled the feeder and I added three new bars um, intermittently throughout the hive. So I feel really confident about um, these ladies. I think they're doing really well. Um, we've had a really weird, weird spring with um, lots of rain and lots of cold weather. And so I'm really, really happy to see their progress and really thankful that they've, um, that they've been doing so well. I worked really hard last year um, to make sure that I had lots of um, wildflowers in my yard. Um, wildflowers and lots of new perennials and everything um, to help out the local honeybee population, but I'm not even thinking about having my own hive. Um, so this has been really encouraging to see them thrive. Um, and see what they can do in such a little amount of time. It's really impressive. Um, last thing that I'm going to do is I'm finally going to remove the little reducer that I put in um, in their entrance. It makes the entrance smaller so that they can um, keep it a little warmer in there. But it's um, mid-June now and we've had some really hot days and I don't want them to get overheated or for their comb to melt and collapse on them. So I'm just gonna take that out so it'll be a nice big entrance. They can regulate their own temperature now. They're big enough, strong enough. Um, so yeah, that's it. It's a good day. Thanks for watching. <laughs>